Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about the loss of logarithm. So dito guys, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba mag-expand ng isang logarithm by using its loss. Okay? So let B, X, and Y be real numbers such that B is greater than 0 and B is not equals to positive 1. So the basic laws of logarithm are as follows. So first, Meron tayong product law. Okay? So, the logarithm of m times n with base b is equal to the logarithm of m with base b plus the logarithm of n with base b. Dito guys, uh, yung number sa ating logarithm ay may operation na multiplication. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-apply yung ating product law. Tama? So, ang gagamitin natin, guys, to expand this logarithm ay addition. Okay? So, for example, we have the logarithm of 6m with base 3. So, this equals, guys, kay logarithm of 6 with base 3 plus logarithm of m with base 3. Okay? Another one, we have the logarithm of mn or m times n with base 6. So, this equals to logarithm of m with base 6 plus logarithm of n with base 6. Nakuha? So, kumbaga parang nadidistribute yung ating logarithm, then gagamit tayo ng addition. Okay? So, next law natin is the quotient law. The logarithm of m over n with base b is equal to logarithm of m with base b minus the logarithm of n with base b. Dito guys, yung ating number is may operation na division. Tama? Or naka-ratio or naka-fraction. So, pag in-expand natin yan guys, gagamit tayo ng subtraction. Okay? So, for example... The logarithm of m over n with base 3 is equal to logarithm of m with base 3 minus the logarithm of n with base 3. Okay? So, again, para lang tayo nagdi-distribute ng logarithm, then gagamit tayo ng subtraction for our quotient law. Okay? Next is yung ating power law. Sa power law naman, ibig sabihin may exponent yung ating number. So, the logarithm of m raised to n with base b is equals to n times the logarithm of m with base b. So, dito guys, uh, kung mapansin nyo, yung ating exponent dun sa ating number is napunta siya dito. Kung baga, para siya naging coefficient ng ating logarithm. Tama? So, for example, we have the logarithm of m cubed with base 4. So, this equals, guys, kay 3, ito yun, times the logarithm of m with base 4. Okay? So, parehas lang yan, guys. Another one, we have the logarithm of n raised to x with base 2. So, that is equivalent to x times the logarithm of n with base 2. Okay? So, naintindihan ba, guys, yung tatlong... Uh, Loss na gagamitin natin. So, let's proceed to our example. So, use the loss of logarithm to expand the following. So, number 1, we have the logarithm of a times b square with base 9. So, dito guys, um, as you can see na yung ating number dito sa ating logarithm ay may multiplication. Tama? Yung a b natin, ibig sabihin yan is a times b square. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-apply yung ating product law. Okay, so try natin. So, we have the logarithm of A with base 9 plus the logarithm of B square with base 9. Tama? Addition yung ginamit natin since meron tayong multiplication. Okay, so after natin ma-apply yung ating um, product law, Makapansin nyo dito guys, sa may pangalawang logarithm natin, merong exponent yung b. Tama? Ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-apply guys yung ating 
ang power law. Okay, so try natin. So we have the logarithm of a with base 9 plus so applying the the power law, yung exponent natin is mapupunta dito. So para siyang co ano, coefficient ng ating logarithm. Tama? So that is 2 times the logarithm of b with base 9. Okay, so ito na ngayon guys yung ating final answer. So next, number 2, we have a logarithm of x cubed over y square with base b. So dito yung operation natin is uh, division. Ibig sabihin, ang i-apply natin si yung quotient law. Okay? So pag in-expand natin yan guys, uh, instead of using addition, this time, ang gagamitin natin ay subtraction. Tama? So, we have the logarithm of x cubed with base b minus the logarithm of y square with base b. Okay? So, next, kung makapansin nyo, merong mga exponents yung ating number or yung variable natin sa ating logarithm. So, pwede natin i-apply yung ating uh, power law. No? So, try natin ilipat yan dito. So, we have 3 times the logarithm of x with base b minus to ren applying the power law so we have 2 times the logarithm of y with base b okay so ito na ngayon guys yung ating final answer nakuha next number 3 we have the logarithm of 4 np cube with base 5 so dito uh, puro multiplication yung ating operation so Applying the product law, we have logarithm of 4 with base 5 plus logarithm of n with base 5 plus the logarithm of p cubed with base 5. Okay, so since si p ay may exponent, so pwede natin i-apply yung ating uh, power law. So that is equals to Positive 3 times the logarithm of P with base 5. Okay, so ito na ngayon guys yung ating final answer. Nakuha ba? Next, last example natin, number 4. We have the logarithm of 4Y raised to 5 all over X raised to 4Z. Okay, so ang pinaka first uh, formula natin is naka-quotient tayo. Ibig sabihin, by applying the quotient law, we have the logarithm of 4y raised to 5 minus logarithm of x raised to 4z. Tama? So, ngayon, uh, bukod dun sa ating uh, division, meron din tayong multiplication dito sa ating numerator and denominator. Okay, so try natin i-apply dito guys yung ating uh, product law. So that is equals to the logarithm of 4 plus the logarithm of y raised to 5. Tama? Minus, dito rin, meron din tayong pwedeng i-product law dito. So that is the logarithm of x raised to 4 minus the logarithm of z. A uh, plus. Since product law. Tama? Naglagay tayo ng parenthesis guys. Since uh, yung, yung buong logarithm natin is under ng negative. Tama? So kailangan maglagay tayo ng parenthesis pag nag-expand tayo by using the product law. Okay? So ngayon meron tayong mga exponents. So pwede natin i-apply yung, yung ating power law. So try natin. We have the logarithm of 4 plus, so applying the power law, we have 5 times the logarithm of y. Okay, so dito, apply din natin yung power law natin. So we have minus 4 times the logarithm of x. Okay, so dito guys, pwede na natin i-distribute yung negative. Tama? Then negative times logarithm of z, that is negative log z. Nakuha? 
So, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating final answer. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba natin ina-apply yung different laws of logarithm sa pag-expand. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!